This is a short tutorial about the geometry of the triangle. The first feature we'll talk about is the altitude. Um, altitude is a line which passes through a vertex of a triangle and is at right angles to the opposite side. So in the case of B to H1, that's the altitude of B to the side AC and passes through the angle B and crosses the side AC at a right angle. The three altitudes always pass through a common point called the orthocenter of the triangle which is this one here. We use the altitude of the triangle when we calculate the area of the triangle. In this case, area of triangle ABC is half the length of AC times the altitude H1B. The next one is uh, the median. The median of a triangle is a line which uh, connects the vertices to the midpoint of the opposite side. And the opposite side, for example, side BC, has the midpoint at M2. We also say that M2 is equidistant to B and C because M2 is at equal distance from B and from C. Uh, some features of the medians. Each median divides the triangle into two smaller triangles which have the same area. For example, triangle ABM3 is equal in area to triangle BM3C. <clears throat> the center of gravity is always inside the triangle. The medians intersect in this point G here, which is also the center of gravity of the triangle. And another interesting feature of medians is that uh, the center of gravity is uh, dividing each median into two segments in a ratio of 1 to 2. So for example segment M1G is half the size of GC and the same applies to BG, which is twice the size of GM3, as well as AG being twice the size of GM2. The perpendicular bisectors are perpendicular lines to each of the sides that pass through the midpoint of the sides. For example, M1 is the midpoint of side AB as well as M2 is the midpoint of side CB and M3 is the midpoint of side AC. They uh, cross the sides of the triangle at an angle of 90 degree, each one of them, and they meet in a point called the circumcenter, which is also the center of the triangle circumcircle. The circumcircle is the circle that passes through all three of the triangle's vertices. So if we had a compass and we wanted to draw a a circle would choose this point of intersection as our center of 
our circle.